we haven't even had a real discussion or a nice dinner. We're not even intimate. I don't, I don't understand. It's like ever since you became mayor, it changed. It has nothing to do with me being mayor. Then what? Tell me and I'll change. Do you love me? I can't. You can't tell her what? I can't tell her that I have a prostitute pregnant. And she has plans to go public. You have to tell her! I can't tell her. I will not tell her. Well, don't. Don't tell her. Let her find out from the prostitute. Or matter of fact, let her show up at your house and tell your wife herself. How about better yet, she tells CNN, CBS, those major networks. And they inform your wife of what you've done. And you get off scot-free. How does that sound? Doctor, I don't understand. I love my wife so much. I'm, I'm gonna lose her. Because of this, I'm gonna lose her. You have to tell I her I will that. not tell her. Tell me what? Athena, it's nothing, sweetie. No. It's... Tell me what? Well, the reason why I haven't touched you lately is it's because I've been suffering from incompetence. Really? That's all you've got? Tyson, I know you better than that. Tell me the truth. I slept with a prostitute. And she's pregnant. Babe. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. 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 Why does this guy continue to insist on meeting with you? He is my client, you know. I understand, but his verdict is in two days. What's the deal? Maria, I pay you to help me, not to tell me what to do, you know. Bueno, seguro el otro abogado me paga más. Well, maybe that new attorney will pay me more and let me have my say-so. <laughs> whatever, Maria. Oh, whatever. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, girl. Look at you. You ready? Let's go. I have great news. <laughs> What's another meeting? You know, something's not right with this guy. He's guilty. I told you he's guilty. Both of you guys get off of my client. Anyways, tell me how your interview went. You're looking at the new employee of Publicist Firms Incorporation. Oh, congrats. <laughs> you. I just said I have a job. A matter of fact, a nice paying job. You can't even be happy for me. Maria, give us one moment, please. Okay. Did you say the publicist firm? Yeah, what's the problem? That's Edward's soon-to-be ex-wife's firm. Oh, your roommate. Yes. Oh, wow. It's a small world. Well, that's their issue. I'm working. Look, girl, if you get in the way of any chances that I have with Edward, it's going to be a problem. Excuse me? I thought y'all were just roommates. Well, we are just roommates, but... <laughs> Sometimes oh. you kind of grow on each other. Mm -hmm. Anyways, okay. look, I got to go. I'll be back in a moment, okay? okay. Yeah, you better hurry up before he try to kill you too. <laughs> you don't believe in me. Nobody does. She was everything to me. I 
would have never done anything like that to her. Listen, Jack, I know we have... No, you listen. Everybody's turned their backs on me. Sure, me and her have had great differences. Who hasn't? I would have never asked for her to be killed. I loved her. Do you believe me? I never take on a case if I don't believe we have a good case. Mr. Jack, you're gonna have to trust me. I know you didn't kill your wife. No, that's not true at all. You didn't show up for little KK's memorial service and you didn't even stand with the NAACP against one of their main restaurant segregation practices. I mean, you didn't listen to anything that I had to say. Well, I thought you wanted to run for presidency, but clearly you don't. You're an old white Republican who's hardly winning. So right now, minorities are your best friend. No, I don't have time to waste. And right now I have more valuable clients. No, I don't have any, I don't have any extra time for you. Well, fine, you can come to my office first thing in the morning, but please don't waste my time. But right now your time is up, so goodbye. Now, if I didn't have time for a presidential candidate, what makes you think I have any time for you? Besides, you, you, no, you don't just come into my office anytime you feel like it. This is not scandal. You can't do what you want to do. I told her. You told her? Are you serious? I can't. I'm done. I'm so done with black rappers, politicians, I mean, writers and actors, you screw everyone but your own wives. I mean, I told you not to tell her until after election season. I tried, but it was too hard. Look, she wouldn't let me sleep. I couldn't eat. Heck, I couldn't even go to the bathroom. Then you lie. Tell her she's delusional. You do whatever you can, butter her up, and then wait till election is over with. Then you leave her. I love her. No, you don't. You politicians don't love anyone but yourselves, your money, and the attention. She had a breakdown during the counseling session. Count. Counseling session? <laughs> oh my God. You went to counseling? I need the biggest bottle of vodka ever made in China. Counseling. It's confidential. It's confidential when you're a nobody, but not when you're running for your second term as mayor. Tyson, it becomes gossip. TMZ gossip at that. Let me just give you a reality check. Marriage counselors have lives too. They come home, they drink, and they're tired of hearing about the he broke my heart and she broke my heart. They spill everything, including your dirty laundry. But you need to find another publicist. What do you mean? Why? Because clearly you lack brain cells and you're not taking this seriously. I'm done. We are done. So cut the lights off behind me. How'd you get a key to my daughter's house? Excuse me, sir, but this is my house? Your house? Yes, my house. And your daughter, she's my roommate. Brooke! Yeah. Brooke! Could you come here for a second? Yes, Dad. What's going on? Edward. Mm -hmm. This man says he stays with you. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> she stays with me. Um, Dad, remember I told you I was getting a roommate? You told me you was getting a roommate. Never said it was a guy. I wouldn't be sending you rent money if you was going to let some man stay with you. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Please understand, this is my house. Brooke. Can I have a word with you? Dad, give us just one second, please. You take one second. What's going on? I come home wanting to walk around in my good boxes and you got Otis Redding? Otis Redding, Edward, really? And I have never seen you walk around in your underwear. That's beside the point. Why is this man in my house? Look, breaking news, doctor, I pay rent here too. So if my dad wants to Stay here for a couple of weeks until him and my mom get their new house, then I don't see a problem with that. Okay then, let me ask.
Can my dad Absolutely have not. Listen, I'm a psychiatrist. I'm not a modern day boarding house real estate agent. I could see it, you know, if you were sick or maybe even pregnant. Oh, pregnant. Oh, you, you got my daughter pregnant? Daddy, no. No, no. You not at all. You listen to me, you little no good thug, you. I'm a judge and a preacher. And I won't have this or anybody coming in this house dilly dallying around with my baby girl. Not girl. that. It's not even going down like that with me and Edward. Edward is a psychiatrist. He just opened up his own practice. As a matter of fact, he's even finishing up his doctorate degree. I met him while we were on campus. I needed a place to stay, so here I am. Hmm. You listen to me. I'll be watching you for the next two weeks. You already told him that he could stay here? Yes, he's my dad. And dad, can you whip up one of those famous cheeseburgers, please? All right. Everything is going to be fine. No. Girl, your old man sure knows how to make a mean burger. <laughs> you know what? I knew you would come around. Not so fast, Sherlock. No one said anything about coming around. What I had said was, your dad makes a good burger. I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to get him up out of here. Well, you could forget that, doctor. Anyways, why have you been so quiet lately? I got a lot on my mind. Tell me about it. I never would have thought in a million years that old Jack would be getting national attention about his case. <laughs> That's not just old Jack. That's Senator Gregory. You know, Yes, I can see that you're kind of scared of pressure. Pressure? Boy, I thrive off pressure. It's just those lies that I just can't deal with. Something about this case just doesn't, doesn't seem right to me. I told you from day one that man killed that woman. But I'm a lawyer. It's my job to defend, right? I know good and well. I couldn't sleep good at night knowing that I better kill him. Get on Sky Free. That's not fair, Edward. Just because you got it all together? The look she had in her eyes. I seen that look before. What you talking about now? She looks so broken, so hurt, and so torn. Wait a minute. Are you telling me he cheated on her? No. I'm telling you about me. I ask myself all the time, how would my wife take it, finding out that I slept with another woman? Would she pass out? I'm, hold on, I'm not understanding. What are you talking about? I did exactly the same thing the mayor did. I slept with another woman. I neglected my wife. I didn't pay her any attention. And here it is. I tell my clients to be honest with their mates, and I wasn't even honest with mine. I'm just a hypocrite. I'm telling my clients to be honest, and I can't even be honest, and here it is. I can't help them with their issues because I got issues. Edward, everybody got issues. How can you be a marriage counselor and you sleep with one of your clients? You were supposed to jumpstart my career. Why do you think I hired you as my manager? If you can't do it, I'll hire someone else who will. What do you expect from me? You just hired me two weeks ago. Yeah, that's two weeks I could have been on TV. Two weeks I could have shot a video. Two weeks I could have- Two weeks of me getting to know you, making the best plans for you and the best deals for you. But check it, if you want to quit, you can walk right out that door. I have plenty of A-listeners. But if you want to work and make history, then I suggest you calm down so we can reason with each other. Sit down, sit down, sit down. <clears throat> Listen, I got you. I'm the best manager in the game and you know it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, this time we're gonna change your whole style. New fashion, 
new musicians, a new publicist. And guess what? So what? It's been a year since you had a hit single. I got you. This time, you're going to be in charge. You're going to be the shot caller. But first, I need a hit single. So we can put this thing on wax and make it do what it do. All right? I got you. While you were so busy worrying about your high profile clients, you didn't even realize that our marriage was going in the trash. That's your problem. You don't want to admit your own wrongdoings. That's one of the first things I tell my no, clients. No, Edward, I am not one of your clients and don't you dare psychoanalyze me. I dealt with that for four years. So what do you want me to Stop do? Talk to my clients. About what? Mayor Tyson. Oh, here we go. No, there's no here we go, Edward. For some dumb reason, he came to you, a marriage counselor, but with a failed marriage for some advice. I don't tell my- You told me. You were my wife. <sighs> or whatever. All I'm saying is when you get drunk, you tell everything. And speaking of, who's this little Brooke girl that everyone's talking about? What? You can't take it when another person is nice to me? Honestly, I don't even care. I just want you to keep your mouth off my clients. Let me call you right back. All right. Bye. What are you doing here? How did you get in? I'm actually trying to close for the night. I was hoping Brooke was here. I need to share something with her. Well, Brooke is gone for the night. Is Shouldn't you be home, resting? Your verdict is in the morning. I did it. I killed my wife. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna hurt you! Open the door now! Let it go! Or I'm gonna kill you! To your phone. That's your series of next public appearances and meetings, so there you go. What's wrong with me? You what's wrong with me? You and all of my clients. Everyone wants me to be their publicist, but no one wants to listen to me. Get up, folks. Don't spit any of those lines that your artists put on their music track. This is not the studio. That's another problem that I have. No one wants to be authentic. You're just hiding behind an image. I'm just tired of the fakery. I got politicians out here just cheating on their wives and expect me to respect them. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. <laughs> Listen, don't worry about it. You and me, baby, all right? Calm down. Besides, you don't have to worry about me being fake. I'll tell you what, I want to just go out and have a nice dinner tonight. A nice dinner. Yeah. Nice dinner. Your favorite spot. My favorite. Come on, you know I know you're sweet. You are my sweet, right? Contrary to what you don't see, I'm not divorced yet. So. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say let's run out and get married. I just want to have a nice dinner with you. <laughs> All right? I'll think about it. But right now, I have to go track down an escort because I have a mayor's career to save. <laughs> okay, I hear you. You know what? And I need you signing papers. Because I'm ready to move forward with you. I'll call you. All right, all right, all right. In other news, Senator Jack Gregory was found not guilty. Ruth, what's wrong? I take it you haven't heard. Maria? Where is she? She missed the verdict. Brooke, she was shot here last night in the office. 